Hey guys, this is Adam from Sentinel 3D Scanning, and today we're going to talk about GOM Inspect. Now, over the years, I've been blessed with the opportunity to use many metrology applications, both from the user side as a customer and also from the development side as a software product owner helping to develop metrology software. But as most of you probably know, metrology software isn't always the best. Because of the small market these applications serve, many leave much to be desired. But there are a few outliers, and one of these is GOME Inspect. And today I'm going to give you my honest, but definitely biased review. Why will this review be biased, you ask? Well, because GOME Inspect was the first metrology application I ever used. Back in 2014, our office had a GOME white light 3D scanning system that ran on Linux. My manager wanted me to learn it, but thankfully it died before I ever got the chance, and I was able to learn GOME Inspect version 7 on a Windows PC instead. Since that time, GOME has continued to update their software, somehow avoiding the common pitfalls that competitors tend to fall into. And through the years, I've continued to grow with it. And although I don't use GOME Inspect every day like I used to, it's still one of my favorite metrology applications to use. So what exactly is GOME Inspect? In a nutshell, GOME Inspect is basically an application that allows you to inspect 3D scan data. A typical workflow may include importing a CAD model, importing mesh data, aligning the data to the CAD model, creating deviation plots, inspecting GDNT, and finally, creating a report. GOME also offers a paid version of the software called GOME Inspect Professional. If you purchased it with one of GOME's 3D scanners, this software can be used to configure, calibrate, and run GOME 3D scanners. If not, you will get an application that is the same as GOME Inspect, but with more features and the ability to modify things. The paid version will run you about 15 grand, so make sure to try the free version first. So who are GOME Inspect's competitors? A short list of GOME Inspect Professional's competitors would probably include Polyworks Inspector, Geomagic Control X, Codem Smart Profile, and Metrolog X4. However, the only application I'm aware of that competes with the free version of GOME Inspect is a new free application called Next Measure. I'll probably do a review of it at some point. Now that you have a rough idea of what GOME Inspect is, let me explain how I'm going to review it. When evaluating software, a decent set of guidelines you can follow is ISO 25010. This standard outlines eight different categories to consider when evaluating a piece of software, and I'll try to stick to this format for this review. First, let's discuss portability. Portability seeks to measure the adaptability, installability, and replaceability of software. I would say that GOME Inspect is at least somewhat adaptable. GOME added CT scanning functionality to the software a few years ago, and continues to support a growing portfolio of 3D scanners offered by GOME. And I would also say that GOME Inspect is very installable. I've installed it on many Windows-based PCs, and I've never had any issues installing it, although I have heard of people experiencing issues when skipping major versions during an update. I've never had any issues running the software either. You can open as many instances of GOME Inspect as you want, which makes multitasking easier. Recently, however, GOME has taken a step back. Instead of opening the application directly, you now have to use a launcher called GOME Suite. This is fine, I guess, but it does add a couple unnecessary steps to the startup process. Compatibility inside GOME Inspect is good. You can have multiple major versions installed at the same time. I'm not sure if that's still true with the new GOME Suite launcher, though. And it is possible to load files from the previous version of the product into the current version. The next category I will tackle is usability. This aspect of the software considers a number of factors, like aesthetics and how easy it is to learn. And relatively speaking, I think GOME has done a good job here. They have continued to update their user interface over the years, and it looks like an application that runs on Windows 10. On startup, we are greeted with a clean, simple start page. And once a new project has been created, you can access different functions like inspection and reporting in the sidebar. There aren't a million buttons staring you in the face like I've seen in some other applications. It is clean, but perhaps a little too clean. For instance, most of its functions are buried in the menu bar, and it can take some time to figure out where everything is. Maybe I'm just old school, but I personally prefer a ribbon. The 3D view is also very easy to use. The first of two features I'd like to highlight is the coordinate cube. This intuitive tool makes it easy to orient the camera in exactly the orientation you're needing. 
And although many other applications make use of a similar cube feature, this is one of the better ones I've used. The second is the ability to hold the shift key and click your model to rotate the camera normal to what you clicked. It's a feature I never knew I needed, but once I got used to it, I missed it in other applications. The inspection workflow is pretty straightforward. Just import a model, import a mesh file, align the two, and start adding features, dimensions, and tolerances. My main complaint here is that the feature fitting isn't as intuitive as it could be. In order to create a corresponding feature on a mesh that you have already created on a CAD model, you have to use something called a measuring principle. This terminology is fairly vague, and it can be difficult to know which measuring principle to use when you're first starting out. Once you have created some inspection elements, the reporting process couldn't be more easy. You just arrange the 3D view how you want it, click the Report Page button, and select the page template you want to use. As soon as you click OK, the report page is added to the end of the report, and it's really easy to make changes if you need to from the report side as well. The only issue I've had with reporting is template editing. Maybe it's not possible in the free version, but I remember struggling to figure it out in the paid version as well. Eventually, I decided it wasn't worth my time, and I just used the GOME default templates. Thankfully, they looked pretty good, so I didn't mind too much. But what about GOME Inspect's functionality? Functional suitability explores the appropriateness of the features and functions found within the application. Once again, GOME does a pretty good job here. You can import most kinds of CAD files with the paid version. You can add a wide variety of geometries, constructed geometries, dimensions, and tolerances, and the alignment types are very powerful and diverse. It even has some mesh editing and cleanup functions that would appeal to anyone with a 3D scanner, not just metrologists. When comparing GOME and Specs features with other applications, consider the following pros and cons. Pro, failure analysis. It is possible to create a deviation plot that perfectly indicates what is wrong with your part. This is due to its powerful alignments, deviation plots, and reporting features. Con. GD&T. Although GOME Inspect does seem quite adept at inspecting ISO GD&T, it does have some shortcomings when it comes to ASME Y14.5. For instance, you won't find any option to add a translation modifier in GOME Inspect. When considering GD&T, I would rank GOME in fourth place amongst its competitors, with Codem Smart Profile, Polyworks, and Metrolog all outperforming in this area. Pro. Simultaneous multi-part inspection. GOME allows you to import and inspect many mesh files at the same time. Updates made to one part also occur on the other parts. Con. Point clouds. Surprisingly, GOME Inspect does not allow you to inspect point clouds without first converting to a mesh. This rules out the ability to inspect measurement data from coordinate measuring machines. And as one bonus con, there's no 3D slots, only 2D. Why? I found the performance of GOME Inspect to overall be pretty good. The only time I've experienced an issue is when importing a very large assembly file or a very large mesh. In these cases, the 3D view does get choppy, but the software is still usable. Reliability is definitely one of GOME Inspect's strong points. I can remember earlier in my career using GOME Inspect pretty much every day for a full year, and I don't think I experienced a single crash over that entire year. If you do experience a crash, the software does give you the option to recover the project that was open when the crash occurred. This does have a drawback though. Every so often, GOME Inspect will automatically save a temporary copy of the project, and this can be annoying because it takes several seconds to do so. To be honest, security is one of those things I've never really cared about in a metrology application. In my experience, when security features are added, it seems to make the software worse. For instance, some applications like Polyworks and MCosmos implement a database to store your files in. This is probably better for user permissions and whatnot, but now you have to manage user permissions in two places, within the database, and also within the file system your outputs will inevitably end up in. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I'm glad GOME hasn't implemented much in the way of security yet. Maintainability is a category more relevant to software development since it digs into modularity, reusability, analyzability, modifiability, and testability. 
but for the sake of this review, I'll try to say something about it through the lens of user. Regarding testability, when using metrology applications, something I highly value is the ability to try something to see what happens. When doing this, it is very nice to be able to undo that action, just in case the effect is undesirable. Believe it or not, this is still not possible in some metrology applications. Thankfully, it is in GoMinspect. Another feature that improves testability is seeing the result of a measured feature in the 3D view. This allows you to make sure measurements are being performed in the way you expect them to. This is a very valuable feature, and it has saved me from reporting bad results many times. So who is GoMinspect for? Well, first of all, GoMinspect is for anyone using GOMS 3D scanners, since you have to use GoMinspect Professional to operate them. I would also recommend GoMinspect for anyone that prioritizes color plots, failure analysis, and reports over GDNT. And of course, GoMinspect is for anyone not wanting to spend over 10 grand on a metrology application. But what if you need something more than GoMinspect? If you work in the industry and need to purchase a paid version of an application, I would recommend a combination of GoMinspect and Codem Smart Profile. GoMinspect is going to be the best at reporting and color plots and things like that, whereas Codem Smart Profile will pick up the slack in the GDNT department. If you can't afford both of those together, then I would recommend Polyworks Inspector. Since Polyworks Inspector is good at GDNT, but also fairly good at reporting as well. But I want to know what you think. What is your favorite metrology application? What do you think of Goma Inspect? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, if you're interested in collaborating on a 3D scanning or inspection project, please check out Sentinel 3D Scanning's website in the description below.